Understanding Policy Loans 101. I think the industry as a whole could benefit from just understanding this little three-minute conversation. Okay, so we go like this. So there's only two reasons to take a loan against a life insurance policy. One, to major capital purchase, anything you can't pay for in full with monthly cash flow. So what the heck is that? That's a car. That's an improvement to the house. That's college. Okay? That's a wedding for one of your kids or grandkids. The other reason to access capital is for some kind of investment opportunity. There's maybe the potential to earn a better rate of return than you're earning inside the policy. Stock market takes a deep dive. Maybe that's a good time to take a loan, put some money in the market. I'm not saying we're recommending that, but there's always opportunities like that. The housing market goes down. Maybe that's a good time to buy a condo on the beach in Florida. Just saying. All right. So here's how policy loans work for purchases. Okay. Check this out. As the cash value increases, the death benefit and access to capital also increase, as you can see our little schematic here with the picture. The policy loans are collateralized against the cash values. The loan payments are then made to the company, not to the policy. I'm not borrowing money from the policy. I'm borrowing money from the insurance company against my policy. Okay. The internal growth and additional contributions increase that collateral capacity. The more money you can get in there, the better. Pretty cool. Well, here's policy loan for some kind of investment. Well, there's no restriction on the purpose of the policy loan. We've already talked about that. The policy loans are collateralized against that cash value. But then what do you do with the money? You didn't go out and buy a new car. You put it over here into the investment tank, as you can see in my mouse. Loan payments, again, are made to the company, not to the policy. In an ideal world, this yellow tank is going up. Very cool. Internal growth and additional contributions increase your collateral capacity. Okay. Potential for increased return from that investment. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And this is the key point. Again, just picture-wise. Here you go. You have your policy over here on the left. You're earning uninterrupted compound interest. Have the insurance company here in the middle. And then you have either a purchase or an investment opportunity on the right. What happens? It's an interest-only loan. The insurance company puts a lien against your policy. Note that your green portion did not go down, right? That's the whole idea of the loan. It continued to earn compound interest, even the collateralized amount. That's the key. And then you have unstructured repayments back to the insurance company. You have use and control of the money. And then this... So cash value life insurance, when designed and utilized properly, can provide stable growth, cash value collateralization, guaranteed access to capital, no annual tax on the growth or the death benefit. And then there's obviously additional benefits are available with additional policy riders and such.